Hello, Aquarius. Hello, my beautiful Aquarians. How are y'all doing? For anybody who's new, welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. For anyone who's returning, welcome back. And from my tribe, what's up, my tribe? Oh, I love you, my tribe. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in. We are doing the Aquarius love reading for July 1st through the 15th of 2020. See what's going on with a lot of the Aquarius out there. This is a general read, so it may not resonate with all of you. Do keep that in mind. But just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Do keep in mind also that time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So some of this may have already happened to you. Some may be happening as you're watching this. And some may be happening beyond the after you watch this you know so it just depends again energy is fluid so this is just energies for the first couple weeks of july this is for aquarius sun moon rising venus so if this doesn't resonate you might want to check the other placements in your chart sometimes those can resonate more particularly venus for love and even if this does resonate sometimes you get more information that way and again venus not love all right you ready aquarius here we go all right, let's see what energies we have for you all. I hope everybody's doing okay during this still the pandemic, uh, protesting, writing, etc., etc. Damn, I made some iced coffee and it's it's warm here. My ice is already melted virtually. Um, anyway, I hope everybody's doing good. Let's see what we have here. Okay, the moon, the moon. You could be dealing with the Pisces. If any specific cards that come up in the reading, astrological cards that have astrological meaning to it, uh, major arcana and then court cards, I will point those out. So those that could be what you're dealing with. That may be more aimed at people that this is resonating for. But that by no means, it does not mean that you have to be dealing with that particular sign. Okay? But I will point it out when it comes out. And the moon is a Pisces card. So right now, Aquarius, you're in the dark about something. You're in the dark about a love situation. Um, it's a mystery to you. You're not sure about it. You're, um, I think you're trying to make a decision about it. You're trying to, you're looking to have some light shed on the situation. So you're looking for that particular thing. And it's all, you're very emotional right now. Very, very emotional. It's like you're drowning in emotion. Um, but with the moon card, it's very much a mystery. You're in the dark about something. But the moon card can also indicate that you may be in the dark, but at some point you will be illuminated. You could be illuminated very soon. But let's just see what else you have. I don't know how to do this. because So I don't know if you can see the stuff back here. And I don't really mind that it's here. I share a room with somebody, and this is my roommate's stuff. And in the beginning, she was kind of moving her stuff. And technically, that's kind of wrong because this is her half of the desk. This is my half. And I used to do my readings uh, before when I shared a room on my bed, but this is way more comfortable and easier to show the cards. Ooh, boy, Aquarius. Queen of Swords. This is your energy, my dears. My dears. Um, if I refer to any of the cards, just as a, a disclaimer here, as a he or a she, like this one's a she, this is a feminine energy card. It has only to do with masculine or feminine energy, which we both, we have both of that within us. We usually resonate with one more than the other. So this is not gender specific. So if I happen to say he or she in regards to the cards, it has nothing to do with your physical gender, nor does it have to do with sexual preference. You could be in a same-sex relationship or a heterosexual. I like to point that out so there's no confusion. Um, and you could be a male and resonate more with feminine energy and vice versa. Then cross-watchers. Hello, cross-watchers. Some of these energies, the energies in a reading, for example, this is going to be Aquarius, and then I will do your person's energy. Those energies can be vice versa. All right? So these aren't like set in stone. But this is just getting some energies for you and your situation. But for you, Aquarius, this is your energy. Queen of Swords, I'm cutting something out. So you're you're just in the dark about something. Or maybe somebody's being a little closed off or just too mysterious. And you would like them to be forthright with you. And you're ready to cut them out. Because the Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, of course, is, if you don't know, is air uh, sign. So... You, Aquarius, this could be you, or you could be dealing with another Aquarius, or a Gemini, or a Libra. Um, but the Queen of Swords is very much about just cutthroat. I call her the Ice Queen. You know, it's something that's, 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 that, 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 that. there's something that's going on in your life that you're at the point where it's just not working for you, and you're about to cut to somebody off. You're about to cut to somebody off. 
All of a sudden, they become an Italiano. <laughs> I don't know, Aquarius. I'm having a very, very rough life. I was going to say rough day, but rough life. Oh, yeah, Ten of Swords. This person has hurt you and um, hurt you badly. Um, again, Swords, you know? You're really thinking about this, but they have really hurt you. And I think that's where the emotion's coming from. Maybe you thought that this was a good connection and you had a, a better relationship than you're realizing, realizing now that maybe this just isn't your person. This just isn't going to work for you. And um, you're in the dark right now, but I do hear, Aquarius, that you will be illuminated. I'm, I just heard, too, you were illusioned by the situation. This person may have led you to believe that they were more invested than they actually were. So there was some sort of illusionment going on here. And if the magician comes out, we will know. Um, you know, because when you, when you walk around in the dark, when the moon is out, you may see things in the dark. And the tree may look like a human or a bush may look like an animal. But the closer you get, it's like getting that clarity. The closer you get, you realize, oh, that's not an animal. It's a bush. Because you've gotten closer. Now you can really see it for what it really is. And that's what I'm hearing right here. And you're seeing this situation for what it really is. And you're ready to walk away. You've been hurt one too, and way too many times. You know? And you're ready to cut it out. Let's get some energies for your person and let's just see. Okay? Fool. So your person has the energy of the fool. So there's another... There's a, a, a different... And we'll see what card comes out with this. At different ways of interpreting the fool. Many times it can indicate leap of faith. But in this particular situation. I'm hearing two different things here. This queen of swords. Maybe you've already cut somebody out. Maybe you've already dealt with this. Again, like I said, energy is fluid. If that's the case, you're going to meet somebody new. And they're willing to take a leap of faith with you. They're very interested in you. On the flip side, if this is the person you're thinking about cutting out of your life, and again, for all of you out there, take this as it resonates, Aquarius, um, this person may just take like a nonchalant, devil may care, whatever. Yeah, we're in a relationship. Okay, that, yeah, that's what we want to call it. Whatever. And it's a little too... Um, I know the Aquarians usually are free spirits and aren't necessarily... Um, all the time gung-ho about being tied down but when you find somebody you're interested in that's when you start to um, I'm gonna say let some of the guard down but really get more into a possibility of a relationship you know people seem to think that air signs are capable of relationships that's not true they're just a little more cautious and they're such free spirits they, they're very um, selective when they may have to give up their freedom so to speak which is not a bad thing I'm the same way, so and I'm not an air sign, but I do have air on my chart. Eight of Cups. Yeah, Aquarius, this person is walking away. It's like there are seven cups that are sunk, and it's not that they don't care for you, but they're just taking a very, um, I mean, they could be putting on a facade and pretending they don't care when they actually do. But the energy here is a little, mm, we'll see what the connection is, but there's some misconnect here. There's some, or disconnect, sorry, disconnect here. I, I can't speak today. Um, I'm getting, if this is what I'm getting, Aquarius, this is what I'm hearing, is, and I don't know if this resonates for anybody, but this is what I'm hearing, that this person is like, fine, if you want to walk away, fine, go ahead, I don't care. And I'm just, I'm just going to take off. You know, it's just kind of like, whatever. And it's almost as if you were trying to see how much they actually did care. That if you walked away, if they would be like, no, 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 no. You know, I do care to see if they... And they're just not... I don't know. That doesn't seem like they're as invested as you were or are in this connection. But let's see what the connection is. Oh, yeah. There we go. Damn it. Sorry. I have people that live here now that slam the doors all the time. And that stuff makes me jump. I mean, slam it loud. Three of Swords. Um, never mind. Three of Swords. Uh, yeah, this is... Yeah, there's heartbreak here. 
this is just not a good situation. Um, it's too agonizing for you, I think. It's just too agonizing for you. And here's the thing. People think, and I'm not saying you don't kind of have this air about you. This air about you, you're an air sign. The kind of aloof, nonchalant type thing. Um, I get along great with air signs, so uh, I kind of like the aloofness, if you ask me. I like the independence of air signs. They're not as clingy. They're not as needy, it doesn't seem like. And um, for some people, though, they take that the wrong way because they take that for face value. They seem to think that you don't have a heart, that you don't have feelings, and that's not true. And I know that. I'm in a twin flame connection. My twin is a Gemini. Almost all my friends are Geminis. I've had friends that were Aquarius. And I've, I've learned by hanging around them, and I always am attracted to, I always find out, like, I knew it, you're an air sign. I'm always attracted to your energy, your, the air sign energy, for some reason. And um, my roommate's a Gemini, so we get along great. You, you, on the outside, you may seem like you don't care. You're very protective of your heart, I think. And they, they're missing out, because you guys all have, you do have deep feelings, and you do have a huge heart. And they're missing out on that. And some people just take that the wrong way. Knight of Wands. Fire energy. Knight, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Just saying. Um, there's the wild, there's the free spirit. Dancing to the beat of your own drum. The free spirit, the wild horse. Y you know what, Aquarius? I'm just hearing this. This person is, is the situation this person is or has drawn you down, kind of trying to, put, it's almost like they're trying to put out your fire, you know, and granted with, when a situation like this comes up, there may be some down time, you know, where you're hurt, the three of swords, and you're spending time alone, but yes, you've been stabbed in the back, you've been hurt, but you know what, after the ten of swords is the ace of swords, you've gotten the answer you were looking, not that you were looking for, but you, you got the truth. So the answer you were looking for, you wanted to know whether this person was invested or not. And now you know. You, now you know. It's almost like you put them, like I'm saying, it's almost like you put them to the test just to see. Just to see how they'd react. And they reacted exactly what you, you kind of thought. That they just weren't, inter they weren't, I'm not saying not interested, they just weren't as invested. I, I, don't, I don't really know how to put that specifically in words, but it's like, you know what, you're ready now to just say F this. I'm out. I'm not dealing with this BS anymore. I'm going to go do my own thing and have fun and meet new people. This person is just a downer. You know, I'm tired of wondering and them being a mystery and them not being uh, forthright. Because I think air, air signs, I think, like people to be upfront and truthful. Not that the rest of the signs don't, but um. Uh, I'm a water sign, okay? I'm a water sign, but I'm on the cusp of Leo. So I have all fire. I have Aries moon, Leo in my chart, Gemini in my chart, and Libra in my chart. I do not have Aquarius, but I'm not quite... But water signs seem to almost sugarcoat situations. Or they kind of like... People can... Sh I'm sorry if there are any water signs that are cross-watchers, but you're going to... I mean, you guys are going to agree that a lot of times people can schmooze the water signs uh, if you're very watery, um, because they're looking... For, it's through rose-colored glasses. They don't want to see the bad. But I think that air signs like things to be just up front and honest and real. And I know the water signs are going to be like, well, F you. Well, I am a water sign. I'm a cancer, so I'm not dissing water signs. I'm one. <laughs> okay, moving forward, nine of wands. So what I'm hearing here with the nine of wands is... You are about to give up on love altogether. You know, you're at a point where you were like, you know, F this love thing. I'm just going to go do my thing and screw anything about love. But after the Nine of Wands, but see, there's still a fire burning. Okay? You still have that passion in you. All right? So, if the Nine of Wands is the Ten of Wands, you're ready to put down that burden. You're ready to move forward and just let this go. And if in, in the future, if you meet, you're not looking for anybody, I don't think. But in the future, if you meet someone, you're like, yeah, maybe if I meet somebody. Oh, yeah, see. <sighs> okay, maybe. So, actually, <laughs> let me back up. Beep, beep, beep. 
the nine of wands with the five of swords is I think that you've given up on this person. You've given up on this situation and this person, actually. Um, and you're reaping, not reaping. I'm telling you, I can't, feeling. I don't know why I said reaping. Feeling, I'm almost feeling, you feel rejected. You're hurt. You're hurt very badly. You're taking on that queen of swords energy. You're going to cut the person out, but that doesn't mean that, that you weren't hurt. You're heartbroken because you really like this person. You were invested in this connection and they just weren't who you thought they were. They weren't, I don't know, they disappointed you. I'm hearing severe disappointment. But here's the thing about the five of pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold, basically. Feeling lonely, left out in the cold, dejected, however you want to put it. But here's spirit saying, hello, Aquarius. Psst, psst, look behind you. There's a key. You have the answer within. You have the answer. All you need to do is pick up that key, walk over here to the lock, open that door. You're on this side of the door. But go on that side. That side is gonna is where you need to be. So if you are giving up on love, don't give up on love just yet. Because Spirit's saying, I'm not going to leave you high and dry. I'm not going to leave you high and dry. You may need time to recover from this situation, but that doesn't mean you're not going to meet anybody. Yeah, you're just... Four of Cups, you're just all, yeah, maybe, I guess. I don't know about this whole love thing. Someone's like offering the person a cup here, and they're like, they have their hand, like, yeah, okay, maybe, but no, I'm just not, not into it. And look, the Hierophant is after that. This is a Taurus card saying, hey, oh, look at that. And then you have the Sun card. Okay, hold on. <laughs> the Hierophant is saying, Aquarius, that situation you dealt with, karmic lesson. Think about what you've learned. This is your spiritual teacher now saying, think about what you learned, Aquarius. You're very intelligent. You're very smart. You know better. This person was not right for you. Think about it. You know, tune into the spiritual side, maybe even the internal spiritual side of you. Meditate on it, whatever you need to do. We're going to get you, step by step, we're going to get you to a higher vibration. Okay? Meeting somebody who's more suited to be your person. Sun card. There's the sun card. And after that, the queen of cups. Oh, look at this. After that is the queen of cups and the knight of cups. So, I'm not going to leave all these cards out because I do not have room for it on the desk here. But the queen of cups is just nurture yourself. Do a little self-healing. Nurture yourself. You're going to meet your knight in shining armor. You are. The knight of cups is coming. Knight of cups is coming. All right? You're going to have happier times. The sun, see? With the, with the moon, the dark, comes the light. With the dark comes the light. That's what I'm hearing. And spirit is right there and right, right beside you. All right? You may need to take a little time to, uh, to heal. Of course, but, you know, you air signs are pretty good about bouncing back and not letting people drag you down. Not for long periods of time, usually, unless you have something else in your chart. If you have water in your chart, well, you know, it may be, make it a little harder, um, you know. Okay, let's clarify, all right? Let's see if we get any other information. We're gonna do. I'm gonna move this back over. Okay. I want you to be able to see it. I don't want these to like fly off behind. It. Okay. The Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords, Aquarius. Your energy here, and that just flew right out. There you are. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I say in all the readings because here you have the Five of Pentacles moving forward. You know, giving up and feeling dejected and lonely, left out in the cold. Here's the Five of Pentacles again. All right. So, and in case any other cards come out, when Two of the same card comes out in the same reading, of course, different decks. That means this is the energy, one of the main energies to focus on. This is one of the main energies right now that you're going to be dealing with. Uh, so the overall energy is being in the dark and being maybe flooded with emotion, feeling you're drowning in emotion right now. But the Five of Pentacles is about feeling left out in the cold, feeling dejected, um, again, lonely. And But there's the light. There's spirit shining a light. So you don't have to be... You don't have to be out in the cold. This person saying, come on in. Wait, wait, wait. Come on in. We're going to take you out of the cold. You don't have to stay in the cold. Come on in. We have hot food. We have hot cocoa. Three of cups. You are going to be happy again. You're going to celebrate again. Okay? So if you are by chance worried or overthinking, I know air signs can think a lot. If you're overthinking the situation or feeling like 
this is just not, you know, life sucks right now, F FML, if you will, um, F my life, uh, you're going to have happier times. You just need to kind of balance out your mind, your body, and your spirit. And then you can come back. You're going to bounce back. You're going to bounce back. Let's get the energy of your person here, the Fool and the Eight of Cups. You know, well, that card bounced right out too. Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Um, this is what you wanted with your other person. Stability, happiness, fun, um, maybe financial security, so to speak, being grounded. Because the pentacles are about, uh, yeah. sorry, I don't know what this little critter is right here. I thought it was a rat. It's kind of big for a rat, but. And then there's a turtle down here. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that down there? There's a turtle on the bottom. I think about, I almost hear with this card that your person stole all this away from you. Your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations of this particular connection and relationship. You thought this was going to go in a great direction. You thought this is what you're going to have and they swiped it all away from you. They stole it. I mean, it could be another person. Maybe the person is, was, wait, yeah, okay. Two of wands on the bottom of the deck. So I'm hearing that either you gave them an ultimatum. I'm not so sure about the Queen of Swords, though. I think you just cut them out. Or this person was deciding on if they wanted to be with you or with someone else. And, you know, they may just be like the bachelor type. They don't really want to be tied down. They don't want to have to make a decision. I want my cake and eat it too type attitude. Let's see what the Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands is. I'm very sorry this is not a great reading, Aquarius. I Don't shoot the messenger. I, you know, this is the message and I, I'm very, very sorry if this resonates with anybody. I don't like, I don't like delivering these type of readings. But, you know, I have to be honest. Whatever the cards say, the cards say. Okay. There's a number of cards. A number of cards here. We have four cards for this. So, Spirit has a very, excuse me, specific message. This is what happens when you drink coffee and don't eat anything. <laughs> it irritates the tummy. All right. So, here we go. Let's start with the Six of Pentacles. Lack of give and take. Aquarius, you were doing all the giving. Giving and giving and giving. And your person doing all the taking, taking, and taking. And you got to the point, look at they're still, got their hands there. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and you got to the point where you're like, um, let's see. This is not balancing out here. Somehow I'm doing all the giving and you're doing all the taking. What, what kind of relationship is this? So you were up nights really thinking about this. Maybe having nightmares, insomnia, um, just not able to sleep. And thinking about this, thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, okay. Let's flip this one over because let me tell you. First, okay, there's a lot of feminine energy here. You got the Queen of Cups under there. You got the Queen of Swords over here. Now we got the Queen of Pentacles. This is the feminine energy is all about emotion and um, intuition and nurturing yourself. I'm thinking that this is a good time for you, Aquarius, to focus on self love rather than external. Someone else in your life, because this person, I don't know about this person. The Queen of Pentacles is a very grounded energy. It's a slow energy, but the Queen of Pentacles is a very mature, experienced woman, a person. Feminine energy now, people, not not um, gender specific again, just to reiterate that. Knows exactly what she wants. Knows how to get it. Is very patient and willing to wait for what she wants. That could be very well be you, Aquarius. You're at the point now where you're like, I am just going to wait until I can find a person that is really, I'm just going to say it up to my standards, that I'm not going to go for some willy-nilly, you know, person who's not willing to commit, who's not willing to, to have a shared relationship where there's some give and take. And you know what? I'm willing to wait for that. I'm not going to just take anybody, and I don't need to stay with this person. And guess who's back? Queen of Swords. What did I just say about two two of the same cards coming in? Yeah. So if you haven't cut this person out, you're either going to, or if you're wondering if you should, this is the card that says you should. You need to cut this person out. Oh, and here we go. There's the Ace of Swords. 
You got the truth you needed. You got the clarity you needed. You got the clarity you needed to help make a decision in this situation. You don't need any more clarity. You don't need any more evidence. This You got all the evidence you need. With the, the person just sort of walked away and said, okay, whatever then. They weren't even willing to, to work it out with you. Hmm. Oh, Aquarius. <laughs> all right, nine of wands and five of pentacles. Yep, you got the truth and clarity that you needed. A four of swords, there you go. There's your meditation, there's your thinking about it. This is you with your thoughts. Wow, this is pretty powerful. This is you with your thoughts. This is your heartbreak. Your heart's broken. All the thoughts that are going through your head about your heart being broken. You're taking some time out. You're thinking about it. You got the clarity and the truth you needed. See how the hand is right by the sword? So this is like taking a little power nap, a little mini time out, just to recharge. To regroup and recharge. And like I said, you air signs are really good about, you know, you don't let things bother you for long periods of time usually. It, it, I'm not saying it doesn't bother you. I'm not saying you don't get emotional. But it's like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. Okay, I don't need to deal with this anymore. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to move on. New beginning. And the bottom of the deck. Judgment. You got your you got your aha moment. You got all again. You got the information you needed. That was your aha moment, your clarity and your truth. And now it's time for you to nurture yourself, work through it if you haven't, and be reborn and move forward and move forward. Beautiful. And guess what? On the bottom of that is Sagittarius card. If you're dealing with a Sag, uh, temperance code. Patience. Balance and patience. That's all you need is to, to balance out your thoughts and your emotions right now. Be a little patient with yourself in the situation. Just be, definitely be patient with yourself. You know, because, you know, sometimes, sometimes, a lot of us, but you air signs can, um, you can almost be a little harsh with yourself. You know, when it comes to emotional things, let's say, why the F am I so upset over this? Why am I feeling this way? I shouldn't be feeling this way. No, 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 no. That's not true. Aquarius, spend time with your feelings, work through them. It's okay to have those feelings. And you don't need to spend a whole lot of time with them, but you need to work through them so you don't carry that with you, that excess baggage with you into, into another relationship if you do get into another one. Okay? Let's get a spirit animal oracle. This can kind of give spirit, hopefully, Aquarius, for those who this resonates for. Um, and again, if this doesn't resonate, check the other place I'm seeing in your chart, particularly Venus. If this does resonate, maybe you can get a little more clarity with your your Venus or your rising or your moon, too. Those can help sometimes, too. So, let's see. For our Aquarius spirit, a card specifically for the Aquarians who are dealing with this type of... Really? All right. <laughs> spirit has a whole lot of hell of... Uh, I mean, one... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, come on now. Six cads? Uh, you know what? I'm going to look at the cards. I'm not going to take all of them. It says, be here now. Watch your words. For see if any come back out. Use your mind wisely. Sing your own song. Be generous of spirit and sweet results await. Transformation is beautiful. All right, you know what? I'm going to take them. Spirit had them come out for a reason. I'm just going to take them and just go through them one by one. Hummingbird spirit is <laughs> card number 34. Be here now. Be here now. What I hear with that is be present with yourself right now and your feelings, your emotions. Um, yes, the mind is probably working overtime, but do be present with your emotions. Be here now. All right. Uh, you know, the hummingbird is if you the hummingbird spirit, um, which are all familiar with hummingbirds. They're in a hurry to get from. They flutter from. the second like sign. They flutter from place to place. But they do stop from time to time to, to, to suck the nectar. No, they do take so much. <laughs> how I'm interpreting that is they do take some time to nourish themselves. You know, they stop from tree to tree. They don't stay in one place for very long. But they do. They flutter around and they're fast about it. But they do stop. So I think Spirit is saying, you know, from time to time, as you're moving forward, you're going to have to stop and take these, where is it, these timeouts to recharge yourself as you move through your whatever it is you're dealing with. Parrot spirit, watch your words. 45. 
I'm actually hearing with the parrot spirit. Watch your words with yourself. That mental conversation you're having in your mind, in your head, that's what I'm hearing. Watch your words. Don't, do not. I, well, I'm going to say, I'm not going to tell you what to do. This is all about free spirit. I mean, free will. <sighs> free will. Talk about, watch your words. <laughs> I can't even speak, Aquarius. <laughs> um, pay attention to the conversation you're having in your head. Do not, um, I'm not going to say degrade yourself. Berate yourself? Don't put yourself down because this happened. Oh, you should have known better. Why didn't you see the signs? Why didn't you this? Why didn't you that? Don't tear yourself apart. Try not to do that, please. Because that's, that's, that's not going to help you. Watch your words with yourself. My roommate, from the experiences that she's had with people, she always calls herself stupid and it's for the simplest things and it's like, you're not stupid. And it's just from experience, people telling her these negative things about herself. She is the sweetest person ever and the most giving person. And it bothers me when she calls herself stupid because she's not. Use your mind wisely. This goes hand in hand. Watch your words. Use your mind wisely. Card number, it's 45 and 47. Use your mind wisely. Watch your words. Learn from this. You, you Koreans, and I know this from the experience of all the friends that I've had, every single one. I, I'm sorry if the other signs are offended. You guys are very, very, extremely intelligent. Extremely intelligent. I mean, over-intelligent. Above average. Okay? And so I know that you can take an experience, and if you think about it, you can use that to your advantage. You can say, I'm not going to do me again. I'm going to be more careful. I'm going to pay more attention. I'm going to be like the Queen of Swords. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, and just be patient and wait for the right person. But in the meantime, I'm going to do my thing. I'm not going to sing your own song, Canary Spirit. You know, I'm just. This is card number twelve. La 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 la. I'm just going to move along. One, two, three, four. We have seven cats. Be generous of spirit, lion spirit. Okay. Don't again with the don't. Um, be careful. <laughs> uh, I don't like the word don't either, so I, I hear you. Lion spirit, be generous of spirit. Um, be, I hate the word mindful, but be mindful of thinking that everyone's going to be like this person. You know, not everybody, not everyone's the same. I know it's hard sometimes to trust when somebody betrays you, and it's hard to open up. But be still, don't let them, I'm hearing be generous of spirit, but don't let this one bad apple squander squash your your spirit because people are going to miss out on the goodness from the inside of y'all and um aquarius and sometimes it's hard when people betray us or do that to us to open up and and be ourselves again you know but guess what if you you just work through it let this bad stuff go that low vibration crap, let it go. And it could take a little time to, you know, be patient with yourself, nurture yourself, do your thing, you know, sing your own song. You know, you Aquarians are very unique individuals. You're not like other people, which I, again, find is a, a great quality, in my opinion. Um, be generous of spirit and sweet results await. So I am hearing that you will be finding love again. You will find that happy you can you know what i'm hearing you're going to either hang out with your tribe or find a new tribe uh and with your tribe you're going to find happiness again and guess what butterfly spirit you air signs to me are butterflies you know butterflies are birds flutter from here to there again stopping for the nectar transformation is beautiful so you're going through a transformation right now aquarius okay and I don't usually read seven cards. I usually put them back in the deck. Spirit said, no, those are those are needed. And I said, okay. <laughs> and on the bottom of the deck, I will show you that too. It's card number 15. The miracles are endless. So Aquarius, again, as I said earlier, that with the dark comes the light. But there's a transformation going on here. You mean it, you may need to take some time out. Work through whatever you need to work through. If you haven't cut this person off, the advice here is to... This person is not for you. They're going to break your heart if they haven't already. But you got the Queen of Swords twice. But you have the Queen of Swords twice. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. 
So with the Queen of Swords, cut this out of your life. The Queen of Pentacles, ground yourself. Just be patient with yourself and the situation. Work through what you need to work through. And what the Queen of Cups is saying is, by nurturing yourself and your heart, working through some hurtful things, and, and then moving forward, you will find you will find your person. You will find love again. Okay? Aquarius. Well, if this resonated, I hope it helped you in some way. You know? If you do like these love readings, um, and or it resonated, I'm sorry it's not the best of news, but even so, if you like these love readings, I will be, we'll, two weeks, don't worry, we'll be revisiting your situation in two weeks. Um, so just think in two weeks, this could all change and you could be, you could have met your person or will be meeting the, the person, you know, your partner in crime, you know, that could possibly be relationship material. Um, you know, nothing in life is guaranteed. Everything is in divine timing. Uh, there's not a whole lot we can do about that. We're all on our own paths. We all have our karmic lessons. Um, but you know, things happen for a reason. I hate that saying, but things do happen for a reason. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. I'm going to try and drink some more coffee so I can speak better, I think. Um, but do hit the like button for me. Smash that like button for me if you like these love readings uh, for me to continue to do them. And I do pay attention to the likes, comments, and, um, well, the views. The views, the likes, and the comments. But definitely the likes and the comments. The people that have more of those get their readings first because I assume those are the people who are more into the love readings. There are a couple signs that I notice I don't get a whole lot of a large amount of views. I get some, but not a lot. And I just assume those people just aren't into the love readings like the rest of you are. But I go through every single one. I pay attention that has the most views. And then I go for the comments and the likes and see. And um, so, you know, do smash that like button if you want your reading to come towards the beginning. You know, you get yours about, a, um, uh, you get yours before the 1st or the 15th, you know. Um, at the, the beginning of the, the uploads. Anyways, <laughs> Telling I can't talk. Do comment and let me know if this resonated and how. Um, I do daily readings. So if you're interested in daily readings, I do those every day. Um, if you are interested, I was doing Twin Flame readings. I'm having a hard time with getting scheduling with my roommate and what's going on here as far as doing all the readings I would like to do. But if you, any of you are in Twin Flame journeys and like those, I would appreciate a little feedback down in the comments because I want to put up the readings, especially for my subscribers, um, what readings you want to see. Because this channel is, not, it's my channel, sure, but it's really all about you. So I want to do what you all want. So the feedback is very much appreciated. So the comments and the likes, very much appreciated. And um, I hope you will subscribe and join the tribe if you aren't already. And hit the bell icon button. So if you are interested, you don't want to miss anything. If you are interested in what could happen if you're new and two weeks you want to know maybe see what's going moving forward, what could happen with you, I will be doing uh, readings uh, the last two weeks of um, July, the last two weeks of the month, so I do these love readings every two weeks. I just did the monthly Zodiac read, so if you want to see, I don't remember what yours was, Aquarius. I'm sorry. I, I should have checked before I started this. Anywho, that is what I have for you. I am on Facebook and Instagram. I am going to be going live. I'm preparing for that, so do come to Facebook and Instagram. Um, first, I think I may do it on Instagram. I don't know how long of a video you can do, but just something quick. Um, and then I may go over to Facebook. But if you join me on those, the link is down below in the description box for my Instagram. And the link is there for my, um, you have to type it in for the Facebook. But the link is there for Instagram. I am doing personal readings if you're interested in that. Information down in the description box. Okay, so everything's in the description box. So if you want to take a peek at that, kind of peruse through that. You know, it's not terribly long, but there's some info in there. But I will be doing live streams soon. I hope you will join me. Okay, thank you so much for joining me, Aquarius. I love you all. I appreciate all the support. All my subscribers, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, and I hope you will join me again. So stay safe, stay strong, stay happy, and definitely stay positive. I love you all. Peace out.